little bit of a problem. Joe is lost in the maze. So that means I have to do this show all on my own. Now, I would like to find out about the life cycle of the butterfly. So I'm going to the butterfly garden to see what I can discover. So, here I am in Longleat's Butterfly Garden and look at all these wonderful butterflies. There's always lots to see here. And this is Derek. Derek is in charge of the Butterfly Garden. These butterflies all look wonderful. But why are they called butterflies? Butterflies have been called butterflies since Saxon times. And one of the first butterflies to be seen in the springtime is called the brimstone butterfly. And that's a buttermilk yellow. And hence, butter, butterflies. And how many different types of butterflies do you have here? Each week I have between 250 and 300 chrysalis coming in, so there's always a good range on the wing. Our butterflies come from all over the world. You'll see butterflies in here that come from the Philippines. A lot of them come from South America. Some come from Africa and some come from Asia and all over the world really. The butterflies are wonderful animals and they have the most amazing life cycle. Let's have a look at the different stages. The first stage of the life cycle is the egg. The butterflies that you see here will lay eggs on the leaves of the plants. The eggs are very small about the size of a pinhead, but if you look very carefully, you can see them on the leaves. Usually, it takes about 10 days for the eggs to hatch out, but some butterflies remain as eggs throughout the winter and they hatch out when the warmth of spring arrives. And that brings us on to stage two, the caterpillar. Caterpillars are very small when they first hatch out, but they soon grow as they spend most of their time eating. They come in all different shapes and sizes, and once again, some are only caterpillars for a couple of weeks, but some species stay as caterpillars for many months. And when the time is right, the caterpillar finds a safe spot to transform into the next stage, the chrysalis. The chrysalis is quite well camouflaged because it is very vulnerable at this stage from predators. So providing the caterpillar has found a good place to transform, it will stay safe. And once it has changed into the chrysalis, a remarkable process occurs. It changes into a fully formed butterfly within this leathery pouch. And if you come down to the butterfly garden, you'll be able to see lots of chrysalises and if you are lucky, you may even see some butterflies emerging. And this is probably the most amazing part of the butterfly's life cycle, when it finally emerges from the chrysalis. Let's watch and see what happens. Can you see it moving? Now. The butterfly normally emerges first thing in the morning, in the early morning light. Look, here it comes. There, you can see its head. It's 
tried to catch hold of something to pull itself out of the chrysalis. for its wings to dry out and straighten up. And a short time later, here they are. This is the painted lady butterfly, which you might well find in your own garden. So, Derek, what can I do to encourage butterflies into my garden at home? To encourage butterflies to come into your garden, they need to feed. So if you plant food plants where they can take the goodness and things like Michaelmas daisies, they're very good, Budleas, Verbena or Brescia, any flowering plants with a small flower so that they can get the proboscis in and get the nectar. Another way to do it, you could put a dish out with some coloured pieces of foam and make some sugar water, which is just ordinary sugar or fruit sugar, and you put that in the dish and the butterflies are attracted to the colours of the foam and they'll come down and feed off that. You can find out more about the butterflies in this week's activity sheet. Just click on the green download button. I've got a lot to tell Joe when I see him. I wonder what he's up to. took longer than I expected. Hi Annie. Oh, hi Joe. I'm afraid the show has just finished. That's all right, because I've heard we've got an important job for next week's show. What is it? I don't know, but we've got to go to Longley House to meet Lord Bath. OK then, let's go. So, come and join us next week when we explore Longleat House in the quest for Lord Bath, missing waistcoat. That's the next show, Wednesday the 13th of August. <laughs>